Hey guys and welcome to another First Impressions video. Today we're looking at The Hand of Merlin, which is a top-down roguelike with RPG elements that takes you through an interesting take on Merlin and the Knights of Camelot. It takes part after the Knights of Camelot with references to the Knights of Camelot and King Arthur specifically. Also focuses heavily around the Holy Grail, which is really interesting to me. So the, the premise has already got me hooked. It is a roguelike, which means that it will be very difficult and take a lot of brain power from very early on. And you are probably going to die and lose and have to re restart and re-go. So if you're not into roguelikes, this probably isn't going to be the game for you. It's got a very fleshed out upgrade system and character development. It's got a fairly decent movement system with not too obscene chances. So it's very much like um, XCOM in the way that the combat plays out with obviously the top down sort of elements and the storytelling elements of a typical RPG, which is really, really cool. One problem I've noticed so far is the opening cutscene is kind of awesome and yet is completely ruined by the mismatch of audio. What I mean is the music is so much louder than the voice of Merlin, which is a shame because the dude that, that's voice acting is really good and it sets the scene for the story, but it's really hard to kind of grasp that because the music is just so much louder than the the the, the dude talking and the audio options there aren't really a lot to go on either speaking of options they're a bit lackluster if i'm honest they don't give you a lot of information they don't give you a lot of feedback so you've got graphics and you've got performance but it doesn't really show you right so on this performance screen it would be really nice if they had a VRAM counter. I know that games like Monster Hunter, for example, have got something that show you how much VRAM you're using, um, which can be really, really handy because it means that you can see roughly how hard you can push your system before you try and play the game and it explodes, right? And that the, the, the graphics and the, the options that you've got, they could probably do with more and maybe just more descriptiveness um, and then your, your gameplay but outside of that, there's not really a huge much to to discuss with the, uh, the options menu. Also, it kind of does like a soft reset when you do change anything, which could probably be streamlined or make it so that you have to manually restart the game would be kind of cool. Other than that, not really a huge amount to, to say on that so far. The game is in early access, so hopefully they're going to add more. It looks like they're going to be adding more champions, more... Um, alternate like costumes and stuff which is really really good I'm excited to see that and the ones that they have got already you do have to unlock but we're going to jump into the game and I'll show you what it's all about there are going to be spoilers in this there's no way that I can get around that unfortunately so if you want to experience the game for yourself bear in mind that they you're going to see some bits but it is option based so you make different choices you will see different outcomes but let's jump into it and see what it's all about shall we all right, here we are. So you've got your characters down here and you can hover over them and you can see what their stats are and how well they're doing. It does look like the health carries over from each battle so you don't get a reset, which I wouldn't really expect anything less from a roguelike. You've got your renown and you've got your, your other sort of resources up here, which you can use very early on. To give yourself a bit of an edge by visiting a blacksmith etc you can move and as you can see from the uh, the map here it's quite extensive already and you've got different bosses you've got different zones that you can visit and each of these kind of nodes has a story element to it that you go through you make your choices and then it will and you know sometimes lead to combat so we're going to go up here, I think. We're going to go for regular nodes because reasons, and we're going to see what happens. So it's got this really sort of old school sort of choose your own adventure type feel to it. It would be nice if this was voice acted, but I completely understand why it's not. I know voice acting and stuff is 
a large part of budget and if this is a small indie team they're probably not going to have that budget but it was some it is something that i would like to see added because it just helps with the immersion nobody really wants to sit and read for hours when playing a game so it's nice to have it there but it would be nicer to have some voice over and then you you get these right so you can move on or you can feed the cows and risk losing some supplies right but obviously lose some supplies may gain something good so we're going to do it we're going to see what happens so the crows are uh, crows not cows why did i say cows i can't read the crow is cautious to take the food from you and then you get another choice to make right so you can thank the uh, crows and leave or you can approach the tree we're going to approach the tree right we're going to so you take some gold but you take a uh, you you take some some health damage we're going to try and grab the gold in the hollow because I'm a greedy fucker, right? And we grabbed it and then we leave. So there you go, right? So no combat on that node, but, you know, it's it's RNG. I don't know if these are going to be procedurally generated or whether you just start a new campaign if you die, right? So it would be interesting if you do die, if you get these same nodes, the same map, but different things that happen. I'd be very surprised if they didn't do that, but I'm not going to die to find out. At least not on purpose. <laughs> Something you'll have to discover for yourself. So. We can lose some renown here. And avoid helping the little boy. But we're going to go for a nice. You know altruistic run. So we're going to we're gonna do it. We we are getting shot upon by brigades. We can take over or we can shoot back. 75% chance of uh, winning here. Now this is where the XCOM. Sort of real-time strategy comes in because we all know what chances are like on XCOM. I wonder what the percentage chances are like on here. 75%. I fancy my odds we're going for it. Oh. Okay, this is this is very Hand of Fate-esque, right? They do this with the cards and I'm shit at them and all. We'll go with that one. Success! Hallelujah. So we, we'd have lost if we chose that one. There you go. So... We can reach for another arrow who's been struck down we can wait or we can find the caravan we'll lose some more health if we do that but i kind of i kind of want to do it so we're gonna go we're gonna find the caravan and being tied up the bandits attempt to lure them away from the caravan we're going to attack them because i want to show you what the combat's like right so this is your grid it is still in tutorial mode as you can see there's a lot here to go through um so yeah you got your three characters you get two moves per go i don't know whether you're going to be able to ex like extend that as the game goes on i don't know if you're going to be able to unlock some abilities which allow you to do that um i have got my grail here which allows me to activate cooldowns for all of my characters which is going to be really handy later on and as long you can move anywhere in this grid right now i can't see my enemy so i'm going to stay behind cover right i'm going to be smart um and then we are gonna where's my end turn do the last run there's an end turn button somewhere and i can't remember where it is end turn the big one the big one there yep cool why that hasn't worked hello okay i don't know if this is a bug I think we found a bug. The end turn button's not ending. That's that's not cool. Okay, fine. So, huh? What? Cool. Oh. Awesome. That was that was weird. So I can't end turn. It won't let me, which is a problem. We found our enemy, and now I'm going to die as a result. Yay! I don't think I'm in range of them, which is a problem. Yeah, no, I'm not in range. So we're gonna we're gonna move up. But yeah, outside of that bug, which is a shame. If it ended turn, that would have been fine because I, I ended up where I wanted anyway. Um, the enemy goes are a bit weird. Like some of them seem to take a while. Others, not so much. The movement, etc. 
seem slow here. And yet other times they'll be sped up. You can speed it up with space as well. I am going to place a smoke bomb. And make it so that they can't see me. And then we're gonna we're gonna do the vigil. And then with you, we're gonna come down here. Don't think I can hit him from here. Only a twenty percent chance of hitting. Oofed. Oofed. Here, here. Since we're shrouded, and they've got a higher chance of missing. Yet they apparently still hit me. The animations are pretty good though. Um, I like the fact that it comes up with the name of the move that they're using as well. Gives you a bit of a hint as to what's going on. Um, difficulty wise, I am on easy. So I don't know if it's going to get harder later on. I'm going to be able to hit you. Only 20% chance. So this is the problem, right? I've shrouded to make it harder for them to hit me. And yet it very much seems like... No valid targets. Moving out the way. Um, but yeah. It, it's not bad. Like, I don't generally play a lot of roguelikes. But I like the XCOM style of combat. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I do, I do quite like the XCOM style of combat. It's pretty fun. How hard it's going to get later on, I have no idea. Um... Hopefully not too hard. <laughs> I'm not a fan of challenge. I love the art style. I love the portraits. It runs very well. It seems very, very fleshed out already, even though it's only early access. I'm very interested to see what other characters you can collect along the way. I'm very interested at how the story plays out. I'm a big fan. I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm excited to see what happens with it. I'm excited to see how the story goes. I'm excited to see just how the game as a game develops, you know. I've got very high very high hopes for it. I think it's got a big chance to do big well. But here you are, guys. This is the game. You've seen pretty much every aspect of it. You've seen the battle. You've seen how everything works. You've seen the story elements. Let me know in the comments down below, is this a game that you would play? Do you think this is good as a roguelike with the XCOM style of combat? Do you think this is a game you could get lost in? Do you like the aesthetic? Do you like the setting? Do you like the theme? I'd love to know your thoughts, guys. Always, always cherish your thoughts when you give me your comments in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video as well and subscribe if you haven't already. This has been The Hand of Merlon. I have been Azrael's Gaming. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.